Hello and welcome everybody to Talking Golf Tuesday. And we are joined with a question. What are the top 10 ping putters of all time? Everybody will have their own different list. This is my list of what I think are the best. You could argue that the title should be the favorite putters, but let's just go with best because these are the best in my opinion. We're gonna start with number 10, a putter which I don't own, the Fetch 2021. Lovely. You know, it's compact. You can pick up a golf ball with it. It has a good alignment line. It feels great. Everything. I love the, I love the fetch. It's just such a modern looking, wonderful, pick up your golf ball, functional engineering kind of putter. And with that, I want to move on to a joke because that reminds me of a joke. I didn't want to tell it. So my dad has a background in math and engineering. He worked in the math department at a major university. And so we always make fun of math, PhDs, and engineering. So we, we, I, this is a joke kind of pointed at the math department. You guys have probably heard this before. There is a mathematician and an engineer at a dance. And the DJ is like, all right. You know, this was back, you know, in the 70s. The DJ is like, all right, all the girls to the left, all the boys to my right. We're going to separate everybody. After every song, I want you to move half the distance towards each other. And the mathematician is like, ah, oh, but if we just go half the distance, we'll never ever arrive there mathematically. So I'm leaving. I'm so smart. <sniffs> Leaves. The engineer is like, hmm, in a dance, closing half the, you know, half the distance every time gets us close enough to do all sorts of fun dances. So I'm down with this. And the engineer understands the practicality of it. Okay, that's it. I don't know if that's a joke, but that's for a mathematician, an engineer, that's a joke, okay? Now, that said, ping, I always associate ping with that. You know, it's kind of like this just practicality of, well, what's practical, okay? And that takes us to the number nine pick I have, the Ping Redwood Answer Putter, one of my favorite looking answer putters, and just a beautiful ping putter. If I just said, well, what's one of the most beautiful ping putters? This is really high up there. It might be number one when it comes to just pure, beautiful looks. Number seven, we have the Ping Zing 2, which is something that I do. Ping Zing 2, beryllium copper, absolutely stunning, beautiful, long, elongated Ping Zing style putter. This feels amazing, looks amazing, absolutely a gem when it comes to the putter world. Something that I feel like is underrated, Ping Zing 2. Next is just Ping going crazy. The Ping Sydney Putter 2011. Uh, this putter, uh, they just went mad. They were just like, wee, let's just melt some metal and throw it in a box and shake it up. And then whatever comes out, we're just gonna mark it as a putter. Okay, I love stuff like that. Uh, to me, this just stands out as an all time great Ping Putter. I've hit it a few times. I remember when they were new, I was just like, what is this? It was crazy. Either way, I love it. It made my list. Now we are on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Number six, we have a very tour proven classic, the Ping Pal Putter. And I just want to demonstrate real quick these classic putters, okay? So the early 60, or like late 60, 68 kind of style putters, and you know, the 66 answer, all have this manganese bronze. And they, patina like this. Look how dark this is. This is just a natural patina. And it's how it's supposed to be, right? Because then you don't get that glare. It's not like, oh, my eyes. This is how pings should look. And it always pains me when I see people like giving them coke baths or like polishing them. It's just like, can you not ruin the beautiful patina? Because I don't want the glare. I want this nice oxidated kind of look. Ox uh, oxidated? I think that's the correct term. Look, just this beautiful beautiful dark putter, Ping Pal, very proven tour. No, it needs no introduction, needless to say. Lovely, lovely putter. And then we move on to the Ping Answer. Okay, this isn't a 66, but this is just a lovely Ping Answer. Uh, any of like the original manganese bronze answer putters, beautiful patina, absolutely stunning putters, very just 
incredible putter that needs no introduction. I mean, we have answer style putters all over the face of the earth today because of the ping answer putter. So this might be the most influential putter. But when it comes to my favorite, I think this is number, what, five? This is number 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Yeah, this is number 5 on the list. The ping answer putter. Well, how could it not be number 1? Watch and you shall see. Very influential ping answer putter. I love it. Now, the reason why it's number 5 and not number 4, where's my number 4? Here it is. Is because I like the look of the ping zing more. Is this as influential as the answer? No, it isn't. But it's, in my opinion, better. This is more of a scalpel than the PAL or the ping answer. I just love the way that this feels. It feels like a flanged putter, like a McGregor Ironmaster or, you know, like the Spalding Hollowback. Just an absolutely amazing feel to it that I really like. It's just my opinion. And to me, this is better than an answer. My opinion, okay? One of the greatest putters of all time, the Ping Zing. But what could be better? All right, well, let's explore that. If you have a more modern version of that. <laughs> this is where it just cracks me up. Ping Vault 2.0 ZB. Look at this incredible, look at the incredible lines on this. When you line this, when, like I've sunk tons of, not tons, handfuls of 20 foot plus putts with my Ping Zing, right? Lots of confidence. Same with this. Already, you've only, only had it for you know a little over a year and already sunk some 20 foot putts with this. 20 foot plus putts with it. Absolutely stunning. Love this putter. So to me, this looks better, feels better. Just is that one step better than the classic Ping Zing, but oh my goodness, this is amazing. Love this putter. Moving on to number two. This is a putter which I don't currently own, but I've owned in the past, the Ping Craze E putter. And this comes back to my personality. I like it when engineering firms just go like, what can we do? Let's go crazy. No pun intended. All right, maybe there was a pun intended there, but you know, what can we do when it comes to alignment lines and competing and making something crazy? Love it. The Ping Crazy putter, absolute all time favorite, number two on the list. Uh, and number one on the list is an equally crazy mallet putter that just, to me, I still can't believe they made. And it's just an all time great. The Dock 17. Look at the size of this thing. The engineers, you know, just went crazy. They were like, you know what? We should make a really good putter with lots of MOI, the moment of inertia. Yeah, we can do that. You know what we should use? Instead of using manganese bronze or steel, ha, huh, who's gonna use that? We should use aluminum. And think about how that's gonna patina. Can, is this showing up on camera? Like, this is horrendous. It's like, look at all the, 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 it's like, aluminum will normally have like an oxidation layer, right? That's why it doesn't like rust through or pit too bad. And so they put some sort of paint or something on it that all chips off because it's not, aluminum, come on, it's not gonna stick to aluminum. And so it's just, these are all dinged up. Every time I see these, like they, like people refinish them because they're so bad. And they're amazing putters. They feel amazing. They look like crap. They're not practical. They don't fit in your bag. It's like, this takes up half of your bag. You put this in your bag and it's blocking half of the holes. You're just like, oh, the stupid putter. This is probably one of the reasons why besides the big grips, while well, they're putting putter pouches on the side of golf bags, because they're like, we need room for the rest of our golf clubs. Ping, Dock 17, it's ridiculous. And that's why I love it, because I'm kind of ridiculous. I have a YouTube channel about vintage golf clubs for Pete's sake. Ping, Dock 17, the most ridiculous club ever, the most useless, I mean, it's a very practical, useful, good putter. It feels good, but when you look at it, you're just like, this is too big. When it goes in your back, it's too big. When you try to maintain it, like what happens when you lose your golf, when you lose the cover, it's gonna get all dinged up and chewed up. Totally impractical, totally ridiculous. This, you know how they have like hyper cars? This is like a hyper putter that just wears out and is broken and nobody wants, but I, but I love them. 
So I'm excited to read your list in the comments below. Let me have it, you know, tell me how ridiculous my list is. I don't care, it's my list. And I probably missed some awesome putters. I'm sure I did because I've looked at the pink catalog and they have some awesome putters which I just left off this list. That said, let's move on to talking about the US Open and fantasy golf. Congratulations to Wyndham Clark for winning the US Open. Rory McIlroy, Scott Scheffler right on his dale. It was pretty exciting. Congratulations, good win. Now, I'm gonna show the top 10 weekly winners and the season leaders in the Vintage Golf League. The Vintage Golf League is just a free league you can join on the PGA Fantasy Golf website, app, whatever you use. So if you want, you can join, you can make this list if your golfers perform well. It was really fun following all my favorite golfers. I just packed in there in the top. I mean, it was, it was pretty fun to watch. So I really appreciate my patrons and everybody who participates in the Fantasy Golf League and in the comments below. Putters, it's always a fun discussion, very personal. So that said, if you want to support the channel, you can support my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe. I am The Vintage Golfer.